everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And welcome. Today is Tuesday, April 30th. I cannot believe it is the end of April. Tomorrow is May 1st. Wow. Which means that this weekend is Maryland Sheep and Wolf Festival. Yes. And we are very sad that we are not going. Uh, we I've have been done there, monsoons. you know, for like hurricanes. <laughs> My God, that year that we were doing it and we were wading through shin deep water to get to the car. Year. That was yeah. that was not a fun breakdown. That was not a fun breakdown at all. No. And yet, I still want to go. Yes, I want to go. No, I'm very set everything up and do it and yes. see everybody. Have our special color and right. But, however, not this year. Right. All right. On to happier. Things. I'm gonna say. Enough self pity. Right. So, <laughs> so um, we've had a slightly eventful weekend. Helen will tell you all about it. Uh, Friday after our live stream, I went outside to start working in the yard and knowing that uh, my gardens were arriving to plant. And um, Maybeth came out to join me, and I promptly stepped wrong. I don't even know what I stepped on or in or but it resulted in a very sprained ankle so um i've been hobbled all weekend so. we've been keeping her foot up right. as much as possible she's pretty much better now um i'm, I'm is, yeah actually know. today i'm without a brace uh this morning i'm without a brace okay and um it's really going up and down stairs i can feel it just a little bit but other than that um very tender to the touch but other than that i'm i'm good much so, much better yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was that was fun. That yeah, was really fun. Very worrisome to begin with because there was a pop. I thought I had broken it, but we quickly assessed once I stopped being sick <laughs> that it was not broken. And I stayed upright. Yes, you did. Which was really good because I'm not sure you would have gone. <laughs> um, but we did have the wheelbarrow back then. <laughs> I could have just rolled you into the wheelbarrow. Of course, it's you know it's amazing what you can make yourself do to avoid the embarrassment of you know having to call people to help pull yes. me up. Yes. Yeah. So, but um, anyway, um, she's much better. Yes. So yes. it was a quiet weekend. It was an eventful weekend because I have lots of finished objects so. and two very very attentive nursemaids. Yes. Which um, always good. Always good. Always very good. So I will say one of the nursemaids as soon as I screamed came running immediately because he loves me. And he, he takes care of you. Right. You know? Um, the other one was had much more important things She was do. eating something in the side yard. We have no idea what. So what happens in the side yard stays right. in the side yard, and I don't need to know any kind of details. Um, anyway, um, they they have been taking very good care of us. Yes. So that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so hopefully today we're going to get back into the right. garden and start working because, as Helen said, she ordered a couple of gardens. We have a shade garden that's going to go on the hill by the side of the house, and then we have a hummingbird and butterfly garden that need to go in. Yeah. So um, yeah, it was very, very frustrating because it was it was going to be a gorgeous weekend, and we could got we would have got I had plans to get a lot of work done outside and. Life got in the way. The body had other plans. Yeah. So, um, so, but we start again today. Yes. Yep. And it's okay. It's all right. All right. So, um, which finished object would you like to show first? Well, we'll go with... Okay. With the epic. So, I finished the 24 birds mystery knit along. This is a gorgeous beast of a shawl. I did this on schedule. On you time. finished it four days early. Right. I did this. This is a four skein. This is a four skein shawl. Um, and I did this in a month and six days. Okay. So 36 days, we'll say. Um, and it's too big to hold. But I'll, I'll, I'll put pictures and videos in. But okay. Let's see. Ankle's not that silly. Okay. I have to come forward there. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So it is a circular shawl. And it is just, it's by Helen Stewart. It's gorgeous. I love my colors. 
I love the pattern. I am going to use it as a blanket. That's how big it is. It is a lap blanket um, because I'm not quite sure how I would wear it other than fold it in half and around my shoulders. And that seems a bit of a waste for all the work that was put into it. But here, look at the, the center is a star. Oh, you can definitely see that. And then in the blue section, you can see the birds. So these are wings here, or at least this is the way I interpret it. Um, oh yeah, no, I can definitely see it in the camera. Yeah. So you've got like the body coming down and then the wings on either side. Wow. It is uh, obviously lace work, but it is not an overly difficult shawl other than stitch uh, management because you've got 576 stitches for most of it. Um, but her patterns are so good that uh, you just, it's either a 12 or a 24 stitch repeat. So once you get the stitch repeat down for your row, you just go along. Each row, there's always something going on. You don't have, um, <coughs> there's no just straight stuff uh, you, in it. You, no, well, you do get the knit row in between. I'm sorry. Okay. Every other row has something going on and you've got the knit row in between. Okay. Um, but because it's a circular shawl, you don't have to worry about the pearl row because um, you're in the round. Okay. I used the peach is rambling roses. The green is uh, weeping willows. Purple is winds of wisteria. And those are all three from the secret gardens collection. And then the blue is midwinter's night, which was our Hugo's choice. Our first Hugo's choice yard. I didn't run out of anything. I used all of Midwinter's Night and Winds of Wisteria, and I have maybe 20 grams left of Weeping Willow, probably about 35 grams of Rambling Roses. Okay. All right. It is really beautiful. It is. Okay. So I'm going to push this up. I don't know whether my favorite combination is the purple and green here or... The pink and green on the shawl end. Those together are yeah. so beautiful. I just love them. Absolutely love them. Very successful. Day. This, the purple and green, reminds me so much of Bumble. And actually the pink and green. Yeah. Bumble was a um, a pattern that Tula Pink put out. It was her bumblebees. But very, very soft colors and stripes and things like that. And they remind me very much of that. It's beautiful. It is. So. As a perfect segue to talking about Midwinter's Night, Hugo's Choice, our next one, is coming out on Friday. Yes. So we will be talking more about that on Friday. But Hugo's Choice is a yarn that we dye with a specific um, cause in mind in that a portion of each skein that we sell goes to a particular animal shelter or animal right uh, organization. So that's all ready for Friday. So come join yes. us Friday live. And the last time we did it and made a donation, we wound up with an ivy. So who knows what's <laughs> going to happen the next? Time. Not based on the donation. No, no ivy no, no, came. No. Ivy came later. It was um, just it, it happened just at happened. the same time almost. Right. And so. it was uh, at, from the. The shelter that we donated to yeah we donated to the montclair animal shelter and that's where ivy came from so okay yeah, then we may be donating to a goat rescue okay oh because you want goats right. <laughs> that works i can deal with that okay think of how quickly our backyard would be clear oh my gosh yes no more poison ivy <laughs> actually up here knockwood we only have one little spot that has poison ivy right Everything Hopefully we have taken care of that for the year. Yeah. Okay, so my finished object is I finished my socks. I started these. These are DK socks, and the color is um, Lady Defiance, and then I finished it off in green because I ran out of yarn. This is just a simple vanilla sock. 
I started these um, in March of 2022 when we first came up because my brother went into the hospital. So this was my hospital knitting and I cut to just before the heel and then I just stopped and um, I picked them up recently because I needed a size three needle. And rather than get up out of my chair and go get the needle box <laughs> in the next room, I figured, oh, I'll just finish my socks instead. So I have, I now have a finished pair of socks. And include a set of needles and a project bag. Right. So And have put a positive spin on a... And I have a new pair of socks. And I love my DK socks. Yeah. So this is very, very good. So just a vanilla, very easy vanilla sock, um, which was pretty much all I could handle at that point. Do you have any idea how many stitches? 48. Okay. 48. On a size 3. Okay. On a size 3. Sorry. Excuse me. It's a nice... I'm not going to get the look for it. Just a really nice uh, knit, so I think it's going to be a comfortable pair of socks. Sorry about that. I thought you go break. He was letting us know that somebody is putting political signs across the street. Right. He was worried they were putting them in front of our house, but they're not. <laughs> it's okay. He explained to them that they're not allowed to. You take that elsewhere. Yes. So anyway. Um, okay. So one finished pair of socks okay. going into the sock drawer. My next finished object is, I made a button mushroom. This was the next in the uh, Alexandra's Vegetable Garden by Toft UK. I made the carrot and now I have a button mushroom. I love him. Yes. He's very cool. Fairly simple, um, but you make a base so that he stands up. Okay. Very, very cool. Very well thought out. Yes. That's a good thought. Yeah, yeah. So I like that the, you have a little different color for the cap. Um, so. Cool beans. This is my sprained ankle project. Okay. <laughs> I started a, a vegetable. I am working on a beetroot. So I have the body of a beetroot. I have two leaves with stems. that need to be added on. So you're supposed to crochet a six stitch thing to make the tube of the stem. I worked on that for probably an hour, doing it, taking it out, doing it, taking it out, doing it, taking it out. I got so frustrated. I finally knit a six stitch, <laughs> six stitch I cord. I knit both of the six stitch I cords in probably 20 minutes so I wasted 40 minutes on top of you know it's just when in doubt just knit right even if it's a crochet project just knit anyway so I knit the I cords to make the insides because I could not get those to work and I mean, then it's I did such release. a small circumference and yeah. so fiddly with the crochet hook it was just oh my gosh so now I am working on one of the legs that's part of the leg um, and it's going to come down like this. It's going to be so cool. Okay, so um, he's going to have his legs that hang down. And his leaves. He's going to go be up. So cool. I have to do his face because the face makes it completely right. as far as I'm concerned. So I'm, I'm going to finish working on that. And hopefully by Friday I will have a finished beetroot. And we are just using our leftover DKs. So this is um, a really old color. It was Kiri. And the night sky. And the night sky. Um, and uh, that was from our fairy tale rain when we were doing fairy tales. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so I just thought it was kind of neat rather than just doing a plain old. I was going to use New Jersey beaches for it. Um, but I thought, well, this adds a little character. Yes. And texture. So um, that's what I used. I am doing this in Ramdas. Yeah. Because um, we were trying to figure out what's a good one for the beetroot, and we're like, oh, let's just use, you know, the eggplant color. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I was just saying to Helen, I was looking for some yarn, um, a collection of yarn that we have, the 
a cottage brew collection because we try and keep the collections together and I'm trying to find the box that has the cottage brew in it I'm like here's a box of minis that uh, have been wound by my mom here's a box of full-size skeins in fingering weight that have been wound by her here's a box of DK's that have been there's so much so many leftovers so many leftovers and it's just and they're all bound we need to do things with them so um little vegetables are perfect right. absolutely perfect and it's just it's a lot of fun to sit and do yeah so um that is what we have been doing with them and you're getting very good at your crochet i'm getting better i'm not gonna say i'm getting very good i'm getting better well you did this yes um and going up and around that's not just you know single crochets to do no. the leaves it was it was i mean, I mean it's, it's not hard but it's no. just it's different right so I find that much easier than doing the top of the leg. I'm having a hell of a time with that right now. So his legs may be a little stunted. Because I'm getting fed up with them. <laughs> they go in, they go in, they go in. They go. <laughs> they're they're, they're going to be a little spindly. Let's say that. Um, so yeah, no, um, I much prefer doing this. I wonder if on your next one you go up a uh, crochet hook. Okay. So that your stitches are a little looser. Oh, maybe, maybe. Because wow, that is. I can see where you're having difficulties. Because mm. that is teeny tiny and tight. I, I crochet yeah. tight. So, however, it's this all is a learning a very curve. Very solid leg. <laughs> Stunted, <It's like, laughs> but solid. Her crochet is so tight. It's like chain mail. <laughs> Nothing's getting. Twist. I was gonna say. You don't see any stuffing showing through my <laughs> All right. Anyway. Poor heart's like, please don't hold me so tight. Um, yeah. So we're going to have a whole vegetable garden by the time we're done. Yep. So. All right. So those are the crochet projects that we're working on. Slowly but surely working our way through yeah. uh, DK Weight Yarn. I may go to knitting next time. Okay. My, my next, maybe a knit thing. Um... All right, that's what we've been working on. Oh, I have been working on my um, knockoff Lego, shall we say, um, mushroom house. It's the Storybrooke mushroom house and I finished it. And here's a picture. It's fantastic. I had so much fun doing it. I really did. I had a wonderful time putting it together. So um, I will be getting more, but I have some other kits that are not Lego type little bricks putting together but are more wood type of thing so I'm going to try one of those next um, yeah book nooks are up next yeah it's it's I've got some things that I want to try uh, that um I'm really excited to put together so um the thing is going to be with lego and the bricks and things like that you snap them together and they stay together this is gluing pieces together yeah. which don't always go together the right way also it's so messy we'll yeah because if you're gluing then you've got to have a, you can't be doing a you, you got to cover your surface and all that. So. Yeah. I I have no idea what is involved in this kit. I just know that um, I have a box full of stuff <laughs> that needs to get put together. So we're going to try that soon. Yeah. All right. But I really, really enjoyed doing the Lego one. Loved it. Okay. What's up next? Okay. Uh, tomorrow is May 1st, which means that our April clubs go uh, live on the site. So we wanted to show you ahead of time what the colors were from April. So we have the, the Denizens of the Hollow, the Disney and the Favorite Books Clubs and the Denizens. Okay, here's the inspiration picture. And we're calling it Harbinger of Spring. And this is the color. So you've got some oranges, brown, and then the spring flower speckles. It's I so pretty. I love this one. It is only to be outdone by May's, which I can't show. Right. Since I just mailed it today. But I've got that one. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, we're not doing that. Right. We're doing April. We're right. giving April its due. Right. April is gorgeous. It's going to make a really fun pair of socks. However, people who are getting May, just wait. <laughs> Okay, um, so Harbingers of Spring. So this is the Denizens of the Hollow. This is now available to everybody. 
our Disney. Disney. Here is the picture. So we are calling this Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. So those are the three um, fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty. So we've got a very, very slight pink base and then speckles for their different colors of the fairies. So they're blues and greens and reds and golds. This is a fun one. Yes, that one was, that's a good one. This is a DK skin. I might make a hat out of this one. Okay. And then our um, book, our favorite book, this is not our favorite book to read. This is an absolutely gorgeous cover of a book. Right. We both read it in college because we're both English majors, but this is The Fairy Queen. So these are our April clubs. Live, now in the shop. Harbinger of Spring, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, and the Fairy Queen. Right. Good clubs. Good clubs. Yes. Okay. Um, May clubs have gone out, as we said. Uh, we are going to be putting up the Patreon picture in the next week or so, so that um, the people on Patreon will be able to vote what the next yard right. we're dying for Patreon is. Um, and... We had a very lively discussion on Friday as far as um, what should be our next collection, fandom, whatever we're doing. So um, if you haven't seen Friday's video, go watch that because we had a lot, a lot of, of fun doing that. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of good ideas. Really good ideas. Um, so. so we have a new club that's going to be starting in June that is called Who Runs the World? And we will have more on that as we get closer. Right. But that will be available in the mystery form with the other clubs uh, May 18th. Right. So. Okay. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's it. That's Friday, much it. Uh, we will be live at noon and we will show you Hugo's Choice because that will go live on Friday. Right. Um, seven fifty of each, $7.50 of each scheme will be donated to the animal shelter that we tell you about on Friday. Yep. Um, so make sure you join us then. And uh, I think that's it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. All right, we are well, off to do some gardening. While Helen edits the video, I am running up to Staples to get yarn bands because we ran out of a couple of those. So I right. have to go pick those up. Um, but then we're going to come back and we're going to do some gardening. So we're good to go, right? Yeah. All right. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Go forth and create. We'll see you on Friday, 5, noon central. Eastern Standard Time. Five at noon, New York Time. Bye. -bye.